it's called Contact. Before we meet Dan and Shingi, who are looking wonderful this morning. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. That. Good I morning. I feel rather underdressed now. Yes. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's never too early. No, it's not. <laughs> anyway, we'll talk more about that in a second. First, let's dowdy. take a look. Look, while we console <laughs> Susanna, let's take a look at the track from the new album, Winner. And Shingish and you are with us again. Good morning. Good well, morning. Well, where do you get those outfits from? They're um, wonderful. And this one is, and the one we saw. Uh, it's a lovely little shop um, called Circa. And mm. um, yeah, I've been taken care of yesterday. Yes. Ruth kindly looked after me. Well, you look fabulous. And Thanks. I want to know what happens at your live gigs because you have newspapers saying you are the best live act in the country. And apparently, anything can happen and it can get a bit raucous and you go off piste. So just. You know, you're looking very gorgeous and demure here on the sofa. What would happen if we were at a gig with the noisette? Um, <clears throat> I think we'd, we'd probably um, get you on stage at some point <laughs> and um, put some, some kind of percussion in your hand, <laughs> get you to join the band. Um, I think it's kind of an interactive thing, and a lot of, I think a lot of bands don't do the whole kind of sing-along, getting the audience there's involved this, anymore. There's some ladder action at some point too, isn't it? It can be ladder action. <laughs> what is ladder action? It's nothing to do with tights or no. hoisery. It's it's basically um, where we kind of just make the set. I make the set part of my performance because yeah. I've got. A, I'm really excited about theatre and that's a big part of my background. So I like to just really kind of. So hang on, who gets on the ladder, Dan? It's not me, unfortunately. Okay. I think this lady. <laughs> it's not the lighting is. guy. And you, that way. You're not changing bulbs then on stage. You what do you no. go out over the? You, you, you float over the audience. Uh, well, or? apparently I'm a bit of a bit of a bendy wendy. I think you can hang. Hang from her ankles, from the <laughs> still really? and sing at the same time. And sing, and cause me to have a heart time. attack as well. Because oh, <laughs> how if the song comes to an end, how are you going to get back on stage in time? We so. find a way. Well, it, 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 I can think of worse ways to go. Put it that way. <laughs> how did you two meet? We, we, met. we met. We met at college. Yeah, we met at college, and I was doing theatre and drama. Daniel was doing music with his trusty guitar. guitar. Which is very good. Well, that's a very good mix then of the of the two to come up with the formula. Yeah. Which is the, I keep wanting to call you the noisette. You I can call us that. Right. I think it's the duality of the two. There's a okay. the sort of Frenchness, the noisette, and the <laughs> noisette. Yeah. With a feminine tense at the end. It's so the, the new album <laughs> is, is sort of cinematically themed in a way, is it? Yes. I guess so. As you can see, I suppose that the poster is quite in, sort of inspired by those silver screen posters mm -hmm. of the 30s and the 40s. Um, with the big lion roaring at the beginning. And can you do the roar? Oh no! Yeah, I bet you can. That's afterwards. When we perform, I do a meanie little meow for you. Yeah, brilliant. Now there seems to be, you know, we cannot let go of the Olympics because you were also taking part, weren't you, in your own way, playing at Hyde Park? Yeah. What was that like? Kind of harnessing that Olympic spirit. Awesome. Amazing. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. I mean, 40,000 people. The stage felt so big. I just wanted to sort of, I just wanted to sort of go everywhere. But at the same time, I had to concentrate on the fact that I was just singing a song and giving a performance. But yeah, I was I was getting ready to start doing laps around the park. I got into the Olympic spirit. I, I must admit, I really got into it. Are you athletic? Um, yes. You can do everything else. You're bendy, well, you're a gymnast. Your music and your performances are sort of very uh, sort of dramatic, colourful, mm. inventive, Thank which you. is a completely the opposite end to what some people would describe as rather homogenised music coming out of the talent show part of, of the yeah. business. Would you yeah. agree? 
that's a really sweet thing to say. That's awesome. Well, that's it's true. Really, but really I mean, you, 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 there is this criticism that there's too a lot of pop music now is is sort yeah. of too formulaic. Yeah, I mean, I suppose a, a lot of music is a lot of music is made in the studio, which I think should be a really magical place and yeah. an inventive place. A lot of stuff is made to go straight from the studio straight to radio, mm -hmm. and I think that um, we're missing a little bit of the variety. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of yeah, there's a lot of characters out there, but um, I think radio needs to shake things up a little bit. It needs to be diverse, more, yeah. more variety. Definitely. Now I spend a lot of time on a train, and apparently if I'm in a train carriage with you, you get your instrument out to start in getting involved in music doing a bit of jamming and you're doing that aren't yeah. you next Sunday I am I think you know rush hour can be rather dull sometimes so especially if you're going on Connick South Central from London Bridge to Deptford <laughs> it can probably be rather dull I'm not sure how far your journey yeah, which which train do you catch then well next week I'm gonna be on for the Africa Express but when I was going to, to college and school and working my three jobs I would probably be getting the getting the train from London Bridge to um, to Tulse Hill the back Africa in the day. Express goes from yeah. where to where? Which platform and where it, does it leave? It's, it starts, in fact, um, it's, we're going to be going to uh, Cardiff, Bristol, um, Glasgow, Glasgow, and, um, and playing Salford, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're doing a, an event in Salford, King's Cross. Oh, so to it's going to be a big jam on the train, and hopefully we won't get any complaints. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming to see us. Thank, Thank you, you so for much for having us. It's lovely right. to you. see you. And we're not letting you go, actually, no, no, no. because um, after we've told everybody that your third album, Contact, is out this week, we can let you know that the Noise X are going to be performing a track from the album in a couple of minutes here. Thank live you, Susanna. We've got the ladder. We've got the ladder in the studio. The OK, is. let's get the ladder. <laughs> Put a call ladder. out for Thank the ladder. You. Thank you. While the Noisettes are still with us, they've hastily set up across the studio to perform their new single, It's That Girl. Here they are. I don't wanna know, wanna hear about the things that she said, running round in my cave. And I don't wanna know about her favorite magazines that she keeps, about her blogs and her tweets. Can see that you're delirious so seriously. 